teacher education leveled up to edges with introduction of new subjects. UGC NET Phase 2 postponed exams on September 2030, UGC Chairman. IIT Madras ties up with National Institute of Siddha for scientific research on Siddha medicines. One Vice Chancellor each from SCST Community and Central Universities Education Ministry. Indian Institute of Management Lucknow offer first of its kind Chief Marketing Officer program. Andhra Pradesh government initiates steps to make schools safer. Telangana governor visits IIIT Basar interacts with students hears out their grievances. Madhya Pradesh governor appoints new vice chancellor for PTSNS University Shahadol. Good afternoon and warm welcome you watching Education News Network where we get you the latest development in education at top of the saw. This is Rituja reporting from ANN and the daily stories are The National Education Policy 2020 has recommended concentrated curricular and pedagogical initiatives including the introduction of contemporary subjects such as artificial intelligence, designing thinking, holistic health, organic living, environmental education, global citizenship education, etc. at relevant stage. The information was given by the Minister of Star of Education, Anupurna Devi, in written reply in the Lok Sabha today. Accordingly, various steps have been taken up improving the quality of teacher education such as introduction of four-year integrated teacher education program and the Nishtha integrated training program version 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. This have been introduced at different stages of school education for teachers, had teachers and principals and other skilled holders in education management. Nishta training program in administrator online through Diksha portal which integral AI solutions to facilitate self-paced learning and close monitoring. Meanwhile, the Central Board Secondary Education has introduced artificial intelligence as a public in class 9 from the session 2019 to 2020 in class 11 from session 2020 to 2021 in the affiliated schools. UGC Chairman M. Jagdish Kumar tweeted that the second phase of UGC NET December 2021 and June 2022 has been postponed and will now be held from September 20 to September 30. The National Testing Agency conducted a phase 1 and the UGC NET December 2021 and June 2022 on June 9, 11 and 12, 2022. The exams were held on 33 subjects in 310 examination centers located in 225 cities across the country. UGC NET Phase 2 for the merged cycles has earlier scheduled to be held on August 12, 13 and 14, 2022. But now they have been postponed and will be conducted between September 20 and 30. The UGC NET Exams Phase 2 will be conducted for the 64 subjects including Telugu and Marathi with earlier been postponed due to Andhra Pradesh and Telangana state governments having their own exams on July 9. In addition to this exam for 15 subjects which have supposed to be held on June 9, shift 1 will also conduct it now. This exam couldn't be conducted earlier at seven exam centers due to technical issues. UGC Chairman M. Jagdish Komar informed in his Twitter updates. IIT Madras is partnering with the National Institute of Siddha, a center excellence of research and higher education in Siddha system of medicine in Chennai on training, research and clinical studies. A MUOU towards the effect has signed recently by Professor V. Kamakotti, Director IIT Madras, and Dr. R. Meena Kumari, Director NIS. In the presence of Professor Ravindra Gittu, IIT Madras, the partnership is expected to result in development of new collaborative teaching programs and research in the area of clinical research, molecular biology, and in vitro cell line studies, health system research, besides exchange faculty members. The institute will also jointly organize seminars, workshops, webinars, conferences, counting education programs, continuing medical education and develop academic programs. They will also promote the exchange of students, PhD, postdoctoral scholars and faculty for tra technical training programs. 
Only one vice chancellor across the central university in the country belong to the SC community, one of the ST community while seven of them OBC community, according to the Ministry of Education data. Similarly, two registrars in central university belong to SC community, five to the ST community and three registrars belong to the OBC community. The statistics from the 45 central university were shared by the Union Minister of State for Education Subhash Sarkar in response to written question in Lok Sabha. As per data till April 1, 1,306 out of 12,373 teachers in 45 Central University belong to SC community, 568 from ST and 1,740 from OBC, while 8,386 are from the general category. Among the non-teaching staff in Central University, 2,063 out of 22,096 staff members belong to the SC category, 1,186 from ST, 2,300 142 from OBC and 16,132 belong to the general category. Government of India has enacted the Central Education Institution Act 2019 to ensure adequate representation of scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, socially and educationally backward classes, and economically weaker sections, Sarkar said. The Indian Institute of Management Lucknow is offering the first of its kind Chief Marketing Officer program in partnership with Emirates. The program will begin on September 30. The admissions are on the first come first serve basis. Eligible candidates can enroll today and reserve their seat. The Chief Marketing Officer program allows professionals to enhance their practical industry and lighten skills to deliver transformational sustainable marketing excellence leading to business growth, profitability and impact. Delivered through a blend of engaging live online sessions of a four-day in-campus immersion at the IIM Lucknow campus, this program taught by distinguished of IIM Lucknow faculty and industry experts is dealt for senior professionals and business leaders with over 10 years of work experience said an official statement from IIM Lucknow. The program curriculum includes seven contemporary modules, a capstone project, real-world case studies, hands-on marketing strategy, simulations and master classes from top industry experts, which will enable learners to develop the proficiency in real time, data-driven decision-making and just related to marketing with the overall corporate strategy. On successful competitions of the program, participants will receive a certificate of competitions from IIM Lucknow and eligibility from the prestigious IIM Lucknow Executive State. Commenting on the launch of the program, Program Director Dr. Rajiv Kumra, Professor Marketing and Dr. Shitij Avasti, Associate Professor Strategic Management at IM Lucknow said, over the past few years, roles in the marketing team and the CMO have become expansive yet not with the need for the greater agility and digital dexterity. We have designed the program's curriculum to enable emerging new and experienced CMOs to thrive in the C-suit with the right external customer psychology, digital marketing strategy, data analytics, scaling business growth and advanced leadership skills. The School Education Department of Andhra Pradesh government has launched a unique initiative to make schools a safer place for students by keeping a tab on bullying and sexual harassment. A set of standard operating procedures SOPs, has been designed to ensure safety and security of students, particularly girls, while teachers and staff members in each school are being sensitized to the protection of children from sexual offense, POXO Act 2012. Teachers and staff members in each school are being trained in child protection norms as per POXO Act and child sexual abuse prevention. The main issue in a lack of reporting splight and the widespread prevalence of abuse, we want to break the silence and discuss this issue with children on they have come forward and report. There will be a long way in checking harassment, schools education commissioner as Suresh Kumar noted. Suresh Kumar told PTI school safety guidelines and has been prepared under the new initiative to protect children under the age of 18 years. A school safety committee, child abuse monitoring committees, and a social complaints committee headed by principals were being put in place each school to address the issue. The child abuse monitoring committee will have, among the others, an independent person with expertise on child rights issues. We are putting in a special design complaint box in each school to let students lodge complaints of the problems, bad experience, etc. In case of complaint against a teacher or other staff, discrete inquiry and conduct to protect the victim complaint's identity. Suresh Kumar students were also being sensitized to freely seek support when required. Posters on child safety while helpline numbers were being displayed prominently in schools.
Telangana Governor Tamil Sai Sandra Rajan on Sunday visited the IIT campus at Basar, interacted with students and assured them that their grievances and suggestions will be directed to the authorities concerned. The governor went around the hostel's mess library and other faculties of the campus and took note of the prevailing conditions there. A release from the Raj Bhavan said students of the Raj Gandhi University of Knowledge Technology, popularly known at IIT Basar Nirmal District, had in June held protest over 12 demands including to fill a post, appoint a full-time vice chancellor and to improve amenities on the campus. Subsequently, in July, protests were held after suspected food poisoning of students to me governor held interaction with students personally and in group with the administration patiently listened to their words. The students' grievances ranged the quality and the food and the hostels missed non-supply laptops to them. They have also highlighted the non-availability of latest subject books in the library, the release said. The students have also flagged the large number of vacancies and teaching positions. The governor visited their hostels and the rooms of the girls' students and interacted with them separately. Sandra Rajan discussed with the administrative functioners of the university, including Vice Chancellor in Charge Professor Venkata Ramana and the other faculty members and staff. Later speaking to reporters, the governor said that the main purpose of her visit to give morale support to the students and to listen to grievances with concern with the help of bounce back into the academic mode. As a mother, she saved it and felt like personally visiting the campus to give a moral boost and help them to focus on the dreams make it big in life, the release said. The Pradesh Governor Magubai Patel on Monday appointed Professor Ram Shankar as the Vice Chancellor of Pandit Asen Shukla University in Shahadol. An official said Professor Ram Shankar is currently working on the Political Science Department of Jabalpur based Rani Durgavati University with the official from Raj Bhavan said the tenure of the Vice Chancellor while five years of the he reaches the age of 70, whichever is earlier, he added. Recently, in Madhya Pradesh, an FIA filed against seven government medical colleges students in Ratlam and alleged involvement in ragging. The students have been restricted for a year, an official said on Sunday. The ragging took place on July 28, and the five videos showing the students tapping juniors and surface of social media day later, he added. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to our website, theenn.com. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, this is Rituja.